Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Lieutenant Gray. Real swinging music. Yeah. Our part of the wasp may not be so vital as yours, Troy, but we try to keep up the morale of the surface men. That's an important thing, Gray. The guys at the foreign bases all over the world must sure welcome the group. Yeah. Hey, look, they're going to play another number. I invited the boys back to my house after the concert. Great, Atlanta. That concert was the end, boys. Everybody was just crazy about it. Oh, shucks, Troy. You're only saying that because it's true. Don't mind him, Troy. Like Big Stiko is the clown of the group. What did you think of it, Marina? You liked it, huh? Marina's from one of the underwater cities. This kind of music is new to her. Underwater cities, huh? That's one territory we've never played. Marina's father still lives under the ocean. Yeah, he's kind of intellectual. Guess your sort of music wouldn't go down with him. I take it she's disagreeing with you, Commander. And she's right. Yeah, jazz is for all types. Intellectual swing with an ex at our concerts. Say, uh, how about going down there and giving him a concert? Come in on that. Say, why not? It'd be a great publicity gimmick. Yeah, that's a great idea, Larry. Yeah. Daphne would welcome you all. I know he would. Well, why don't we make a party of it? Sure. There's room on board our band ship for at least half a dozen more passengers. 
Well, I don't know about that. Ah, oh, come on, Father. We'd only be gone a couple of days. Well, I guess we could arrange it. I'll have to take a rain check. I've got to go to HQ tomorrow to discuss the Aquanaut Convention. Yeah, you've got a flight booked at 0900 hours. And I'm flying to New York at 5 a.m. I've got to arrange a booking for the group. Well, I guess that just leaves phones, Marina, and myself, then. Well, have you got to go tomorrow, Troy? Yeah, I'm afraid so. But you have a good time, honey. Well, I'm going to say goodnight to you charming people. I want to grab some sleep. I have to be up at dawn. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ah, oh, he's a nice guy, your manager. Yeah, he sure is. Say, why don't we wake up a new arrangement for Marina's father? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, why don't you start now? You can use my piano. Okay. Like, uh, let's get started. Uh, we'll call it, uh... Blues Pacifica. I guess, uh, guess it should have a water theme. Yeah. Waves. The ocean. Water. This is one concert that's really gonna go with a bang. You guys sure have a ball. Well, uh, how do you figure the number's shaping up? Sounds great to me. Uh, wh what do you think, boys? Well, it's, it's great. We can rehearse it to some on our ways to Pacifica tomorrow. I guess there's no point in asking you, Stigo. Like, uh, you can improvise on anything. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be okay on the night. Uh, you know, Troy, to get Stigo to rehearse, we'd have to put a bomb behind them. Titanic are Agent F721 to X20. Come in, X20. F721 calling X20. Do you read me? Go ahead, F721. What have you to report? As was expected, an opportunity has presented itself to strike a blow against the WASP. Quite so. I said it would if you played a concert at Marineville. Unfortunately, Troy Tempest has a meeting at HQ. He will escape the fate of the others. That cannot be helped. Tempest's turn will come later. Good night, Troy. Have a good trip tomorrow. Yeah. You too. Uh, I'd better radio the airport and confirm my flight tomorrow. What's wrong with this radio? Say, someone's transmitting close to my frequency. Seems to be coming from the guest quarters. What is the plan? I have fixed the radio in a band ship so that it operates for only two hours. And I have placed a bomb in the double base. When the group starts to play at Pacifica, it will explode on the touch of a certain string. And you say Atlanta phones and Marina will be there? Yep. They'll all die. Along with Afony and the others. It's a good plan. You've done well, F721. Thank you, X20. Closing down. So you're an agent. You just forgot to mention that you're one of Titan's agents. So? What do you intend to do about it? What do you think? Put you under arrest? For treason? I don't think so, Tempest. <laughs> Here's my pass. But this is Captain Tempest's car. Yeah, I know. He let me borrow it. You can check with him if you want to wake him up at his home. Uh, what's on the other seat? 
Well, I've just kidnapped someone and I'm smuggling them out. Don't tell anybody, but I'm an enemy agent. <laughs> okay, sir. Good night. It always pays to be honest, Captain. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Pity you can't enjoy the trip, Troy Tempest. Beautiful scenery. But you'll be out for a couple hours. Oh, uh, here we are. The hideout. But it's not like Troy to go off without saying goodbye. Yeah, from what Phones tells me, Troy's car is gone. Yeah, and what's more, he didn't even go back to the apartment after the party. But why? Where could he have gone? Well, I can only guess. He decided to drive to HQ, but I gotta admit, it seems kind of strange. Yeah. But don't start worrying. Troy has a good reason for most of the things he does. Well, maybe you're right. Atlanta, we better get going. The band ship is waiting for us. But I don't like leaving without knowing what's happened to him. There's sure to be a simple explanation. You get on down to that band ship and enjoy yourselves. Give my regards to your father, Mariner. Oh. Oh. Oh, I feel muzzy. Say, what happened? What is this place? Relax, Tempest. You're tied up good. You won't get away. And you're a hundred miles from Marineville. Now I remember. You were transmitting a message. You put a bomb in the double base. Correct. As soon as Big Stygo starts the session in Pacifica, boom. <laughs> How did you get me out of Marineville? I just told them I'd kidnapped Troy Tempest and they let me straight through. <laughs> Must have been glad to get rid of you. And now what? Now I'm gonna see that you don't live to tell the story. <laughs> this is Commander Shore speaking. I want the security checkpoint guard in the tower in two minutes. And tell Lieutenant Fisher to get back here, too. Yes, sir. Bones here, Commander. Downbeat, leaving Marineville now, sir. Okay, clear to go. She's all yours, Stigo. Watch out for the ocean door. Okay, Phones. Hold on to your hat. I steer this tub worse than I play my fiddle. That's real bad. Good thing I know you boys are all trained aquanauts, or I'd be swimming the Pacifica. Tower from down deep. Approaching ocean door. Okay, phones. Ocean door open. And bon voyage. You, uh, wanted me, sir? Where did Captain Tempest say he was going when he left Marineville? Uh, Captain Tempest, sir, well, uh, he never left, sir. His car did with uh, Lieutenant Gray at the wheel. Uh, you know, the band manager. But the captain wasn't with him. He wasn't, huh? And what was Gray doing in his car? Well, he said he borrowed it from Captain Tempest, sir. Now, what would Lieutenant Gray want with Captain Tempest's car? I realize, Tempest, that Marineville are gonna wonder where you are. You can bet on it, Gray. And you'll have to have a good alibi to explain away my car. I don't think so. Sure, when I drive back to Marineville, they'll question me. But you lent me your car. And without you, no one can prove otherwise. And Tempest... We will be without you. And what masterful little scheme have you got cooked up? This shack is in a forest. And forests sometimes catch fire. And this one is going to do just that. I see. No evidence? Very neat. But don't stop worrying about me until you know I'm dead. I don't scare easy, Tempest. So long, Captain. It's been nice knowing you. 
<laughs> I want Lawrence Gray found and brought here, Lieutenant. He was not on the Dawn New York flag. Right, sir. I've got an all points alert out for Troy's car. It won't be long now. Now for a nice slow drive back to Marine. Have you found Troy yet, Father? Not yet, Atlanta. We're still looking. Don't worry, honey. He'll be okay. Enjoy the trip to Pacifica. I'll try, Father. But I'm worried. <laughs> Okay, like uh, one more time. I'll take over if you want to join them, Sago. Not me, Phones. Rehearsals bore me. <laughs> station to tower, forest fire 100 miles east of Marineville. Foresters request our help. Okay, Lieutenant, give them all the help you can, but keep an emergency team here. You sent those fire tenders, Commander. They saved my life. Now, what about Gray? I've given orders for him to be brought in. Now, let's get going. Yeah. The downbeat's got four hours start on us. We've got to reach them before Stigel gets hold of that double base. Say, why don't we radio and warn them? I've tried. Their radio's out of commission. Guess that was all part of Gray's plan. Right. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Traveling three times the speed of downbeat, but that's still not fast enough. We're doing our best, Troy. There's Pacifica. Now we flash our lights three times and they'll open the airlock. Right, Marina? One, two, three. 
three. They should be at Pacifica by now, and we're still an hour away. There's still one hope, Troy. Anthony will probably entertain them before they start the concert. On behalf of your guests, Anthony, I would like to thank you for your hospitality. Yeah, the meal was just great. So now, uh, how about some music? Uh, like, after all, that's why us cats came. Yeah, uh, okay. Let's uh, get started. Yeah, I'm raring to go. That bass is going to produce the best sound you ever heard. <laughs> Three minutes, Commander, and we'll be there. Hold on, Stygo. Just a few more minutes. Okay, boys. Play away. Right, Stygo. Blues Pacifica. You come in on the fourth bar after the intro. I'll be there. You'll hear me, boy. Don't touch that bass! Won't. Give me a hand to get that bass out of here. Hey, what goes on here? What are you doing here, Father? What's happening? Just keep calm. This is a long story. <laughs> Okay, phones. This is far enough. This is the funniest looking bass I've ever seen. Maybe so, Stygo, but uh, in a way, like uh, it's a fitting tribute to Afony that we should play his number, featuring one of his own unusual instruments. Okay, boys. Blues Pacifica. From the top. Marina, 
Why don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart?